For more on this, let's bring in our political panel. Al Mater, Brownstein Hyatt, Farber Shrek partner, Democratic strategist, and former Hillary Clinton campaign National Finance Committee member, and William McGinley, former assistant to the president and White House cabinet secretary for the Trump administration, also principal at the Vogel Group. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us. A lot to get to. I'm going to try to lightning round it here. Uh, Pennsylvania, Al. Should Fetterman release his medical records or allow reporters to interview his doctor? That's a tough one, Jackie. Uh, I, I bet he doesn't want to um, if, unless they're perfect. And I think it's a, an issue that he wants to stay away from right now. But if you looked at the speech that you ran earlier on your show, he looked lucid, crisp, able to talk. He struggles when he has to process words and hear them more slowly than others. That doesn't mean he's not smart. Mm. William, should Dr. Oz be aligning himself at this stage with former President Trump and Mastriano, given that it's a toss-up, that he's got to win a statewide race. Pennsylvania is not deep red. Is that dangerous? Should he be trying to project more of a moderate message at this juncture? I think Dr. Oz is doing exactly the right thing, and that's putting together the moderate uh, establishment and MAGA coalition that Governor Youngkin was able to use to great success in Virginia last year. And if you look at what Dr. Oz is doing, he's appealing to both sides of that. That is the winning combination uh, for Republicans this cycle. And I think that's why you're seeing him surge in the polls uh, and overtake Fetterman. Okay. I want to shift over to Georgia. And I want to play some sound from the underwing uh, of the tarmac. The president was taken off uh, earlier this week, and he said some things on a hot mic talking to Chuck Schumer. Let's take a listen. Pretty unbelievable uh, to capture to capture that. Um, Al, I want to ask you, you know, what what are Democrats failing on in Georgia? Why is Chuck Schumer saying that? Well, he's saying it because it's hard to believe people would vote for Herschel Walker. First but why are they, why do they want to? What, what's wrong with I, I don't think that's what's happening, actually. I think that Governor Kemp is outrunning Stacey Abrams to such a wide degree that Walker's the beneficiary of that tale. I think if it was just a Warnock-Walker race, Warnock could beat him. But the problem is that Kemp is going to beat Stacey Abrams by between six and ten points, which is at the best going to force Senator Warnock into a runoff in December. William, do you think that that's a fair assessment, that the, the gubernatorial race is influencing the Senate race? No, I think Herschel Walker is actually rising on his own, and I think one of the reasons is, is because he's focusing on the issues that matter most to Georgia families, the economy, inflation, crime, um, energy prices. And I think that's the winning combination for Republicans is to focus on those kitchen table issues like Herschel Walker has in Georgia, and he's being rewarded with a rise in the polls. So the president is going to New Mexico this week. It seems like an odd choice given that he could, he's going out west, stop by Nevada, stop by Arizona. Why isn't he doing that, Al? He's trying to shore up Governor Lujan Grisham's race. I mean, we are struggling across the country because it's a midterm election. And so it's always tougher for the party in power, particularly when we control the House, the Senate, the presidency, and a lot of governor's races. So that makes sense to me. Does that sacrifice Nevada and, and Arizona to the GOP? Is he, is, is, do you, uh, William, do you think that, the, you know, that's a signal from the top that these races are going to go Republican, and they've given up. Yeah, look, we're a week and a couple days out, so time is limited for President Obama to go out and try and shore up support for, for Democrats. And I think what he's tried to do is save some of the ones that he can, which tells you what the Democrats are thinking about Nevada with Adam Waxalt and how well he's doing, with Arizona with gov you know, gov gubernatorial candidate Kerry Lake and then Blake Masters on the Senate side. I think the, the Democrats are triaging, and so they're sending President Obama to where they think he's going to have the greatest impact, and it's not a good sign for the Democrats in Nevada and Arizona. All right. I wanted to ask you each which uh, races you think will be a big enough, uh, your, your biggest surprise, but we are unfortunately out of time, so we'll have to chat in the break. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you both for being with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.